Hey guys, so if you've spent any time looking at flowers, especially watching bees, you've probably noticed those little camouflaged crab spiders. They sit inside the flower and they're actually pretty major predators of bees and other pollinators. As I've walked around, I've seen them capturing or have captured things as small as a little fly to things as big as a big sphinx moth. They're pretty impressive predators. And their camouflage is awesome too. You see white ones on white flowers, you see yellow ones on yellow flowers, you even see pinkish ones on pink flowers. It's pretty awesome. But there's actually more to the story, and I think the story is actually more interesting than we probably thought. So what I mean is, these camouflaged little crab spiders aren't actually camouflaged at all. Well, they're camouflaged a little bit to some organisms like us, but in fact, they're probably not camouflaged to bees. So studies have shown that that camouflaged crab spider actually reflects more UV light than the surrounding flower. So let me back up for a second and talk about nectar guides. So bees find flowers in lots of ways. They have a really good sense of smell, they smell with their antennae, they can see pretty well too, but their vision is different than ours. They see a lot of the same color spectrum that we see, but they also see ultraviolet light. And so flowers have evolved these interesting patterns that humans aren't able to see. Uh, they often call these nectar guides or, or other things like that because there's parts of the flower that reflect more ultraviolet light than we're able to see. For example, if you look at this yellow flower I have in my front yard, it looks like a yellow flower. When you shine ultraviolet light on it, you can see that there's actually more pattern to it. And these patterns are thought to help the bee orient to where the pollen and nectar are. In fact, in some flowers, the pollen itself kind of glows under ultraviolet light. So this is a poppy down in the Mojave Desert, and you can see when I shine this, this black light on it at night, you can see that that pollen is kind of glowing more. So it's actually kind of a target for the bees. So anyway, these crab spiders sitting on a flower, rather than looking camouflaged to a bee, they're actually looking like a beacon. They're kind of tricking the bee's senses into saying, hey, I'm a nectar guide, this is where you should land. So the bee will go closer to them and then they will get eaten. So actually, that gives me an idea. Okay, just to recap what we've done. We didn't have any solid green shirts, so we turned some shirts inside out. We used fluorescent spray paint to stencil on our crab spider stencil, and you can see they're pretty camouflaged on our shirts. And now we're here in the bathroom. Why are we in the bathroom? Because the darkest room in the house. Darkest room in the house. To kind of give an example of what the crab spiders are doing. So. In daylight, to human eyes, they look camouflaged. But to a bee, or several other kinds of pollinators that can see UV light, they look like... Whoa! They look like targets, like landing pads. So in the dark, it's really clear. 
But even in the light, if you shine this UV light at it, look at that, target, target. So even though it looks camouflaged to us, it's actually not camouflaged to the prey that they're hunting. That's so cool. <laughs> so you can see here, we've made ultraviolet glowing spiders camouflaged on our shirts. Kind of an interesting story, right? There's more to the world than we see with our eyes. So I just wanted to end this video by telling you to please subscribe to our channel so you can see more videos like this. And I wanted to show you this video I made a couple years ago of a crab spider hunting. The soundtrack here is from Stranger Things. Enjoy.